What's up guys, cheat me out here, back at you with another video on the Mets yet again, lost to the Diamondbacks, uh, by the score of, um, 9-6, to six. uh, it's just, I don't get how we can't, we can beat a first place team, I don't know if they're first place right now, but we could beat like kind of a first place team in the Cardinals and the Diamondbacks come to town and win 9-6 to six against us, um, we're only 5.5, it might change to 6.5 in the wild card. Seven and a half, because I think the Braves just won in extra innings in the standings. We're falling, but we're not dead yet. Omar, trade deadline, less than two minutes away, like, right? Because 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is happening. Why don't you do something? All the good pitches have been traded. Dan Heron, Angels. Royals, we'll, we'll get to it in a second. Royals, well, Phillies. Uh... You know, Ted Lilly's still out there. Omar, the season is not gone. The season is not lost. You can still do something by July 31st. You can do something tomorrow. And, you know, you, the, I'll take everybody back to the 2007 Rockies. They were pronounced dead in August. They were pronounced gone, I think. And then they just made this un, unbelievable, unbelievable run to the postseason. I made it all the way to the World Series. Before losing to the Red Sox... But they were on an unbelievable run and made it all the way to the World Series. They won the wild card. We could still do it. We need to get hot fast. And we're going to have a huge road trip that's possibly alive or dead. I mean, we could still win this division, too. We just got to get hot. The Braves have to get cold. In that Braves series, we better take two out of three. Or the season's over there. And Philly, and Atlanta, we just need to win that ser those two series big. I mean, the season isn't over. We gotta win two or three from the Diamondbacks, but this season is not over. We're throwing our best, I think, against Philly. Uh, no, wait, are we throwing our best against Philly? Um, I'm not even sure what the Philly matchups are right now, but I'll still have a hate week. I hate week. Uh, that's NFL TTC. I hate series because the Mets aren't dead. We lost nine to six to the D-backs. Mets aren't dead though. I'm not pronouncing them dead till they're mathematically out. So, I'm just not, and I just can't believe we lost this game, but they're not dead. Look at my page of what R.A. Dickey said. By the way, he's climbing up my list for the top, my five 2010 Mets that I like right now, because he is just, he's been unbelievable. He's just pitched in big games and won them. He's just been unhittable, and the comment he said really just pumped me up. I love this guy. If we can't sign him to a deal, you know, if we can't sit, fit him in the starting rotation, put him in the bullpen or something. Because I like this guy. I was laughing when we signed him. I made a video when we signed him, laughing my ass off, saying, what the hell? We shouldn't have signed him? I was completely wrong. Don't listen to me. It's just unbelievable what the guy's been able to do. Now, Philly fans, let's get on this topic. Royals will get traded to Philly. We all know this. All the Philly fans are like, Royals want the Philly, holy shit. Yeah, we're going to go all the way now, bitches. We're doing everything now. Royals want the man. One bad start. Fuck Royals, Walt. Fuck him. We should have kept J.A. Happ. Fuck Royals, Walt. Oh, I miss J.A. Happ. Fuck him. Uh, it's just unbelievable how quick they're, they're like all bipolar. One minute they love Roy Holiday, the Roy Oswald, sorry. The next minute they just go all ballistic on Roy Oswald after one bad start. Johan had his one bad start. We don't go ballistic on him. We still love him. You don't give Roy Holiday, Roy Oswald a chance. It's just unbelievable how you guys just turn right on Roy Oswald after one bad start. I was just laughing my ass off. Because after the messages and the constant bragging by all these Philly fans that they got Roy Oswald. And then they were like, oh, J.A. Happ. We could have gave up J.A. Happ. And now J.A. Happ, look what he did for the Houston Astros. Six shutout innings against the Milwaukee Brewers, who are no pushover. I really, really, really hope now J.A. Happ becomes a big star. Because I will laugh my ass off if he does. That would be great. Because it's just unbelievable how you guys just, uh, like, oh, we got Oswald. Then all of a sudden you turn it on saying, fuck Oswald. Give him some more time, at least. I'm not a Philip fan. I hope he... I hope he does bad too, but 
You gotta give him more time. We give Santana a lot of time. Because we love him. You guys just are like, at the one bad start, you hate the guy. You did the same thing with Holiday. It's ridiculous sometimes, you know? You're like, Roy who? Who the fuck's Roy? What the fuck, Roy Holiday? It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. So, anyway, I'm going to the game tomorrow. Um, Hiroshi Ta Hisanori Takahashi will go against Barry Enright. Hopefully, we can win this game. Um... I'm gonna be bringing my cam ah uh, camcorder what the fuck camera um to City Field I'm gonna be in the Sleepy's booth I don't even know how it looks I'll just get it on camera show you guys so big win tomorrow we have to win the series um the last game we get Nice pitching so let's beat Barry and right this kid's probably nothing we can take him come on let's get this big win tomorrow cheat me out is out Mets are not dead um I'll see you guys later. Peace.